Hello, this is Richard Hearing from Climate Camp TV. We've got a news update now from Tim. What's happening down in Ratcliffe on Sawtip? We've got three news updates to give. Uh, firstly, there have been a number of arrests. Some of them, 10 of them in fact, were this morning before any action took place. Um, some of them were from people breaching the fence. Um, on that subject, um, there have been some people seen on the coal pile. There's a debate about um, who these people are. So the coal pile is inside the power station? Absolutely. In the in the power station there is a pile of coal that can be is so big that it can be seen from space and some uh, people outside have seen some people on it and we don't know whether these are um, EON security staff or protesters or protesters dressed as EON security staff. And thirdly, um, we have a, uh, an announcement from, uh, from the police um, and they have told the protesters that they are free to leave and um, they've given this both uh, face to face and on the BBC and the response has come from the, uh, from the protesters there that the police are also free to leave. Okay, um, now this kind of big direct action Tim, uh, you've got some experience with direct action as, as have I. Um, it's what what is actually um, it, it might seem uh, you know, storming a power station in this way. It might seem a bit scary for people uh, who haven't done this kind of thing before. Uh, what what would you say about that? I think the first thing to bear in mind is that we have the moral high ground. Uh, if we are going to have a future as a planet, um, then burning coal has to stop. And uh, if the government isn't going to um, stop that from happening, then it's up to uh, activists to do that. Um, how do you step up and get involved? <laughs> there's many routes in uh, to, uh, to climate camp. Um, there's meetings, there's uh, events, there's public meetings, there's um, this kind of musical events. And there you can meet people, um, you can talk to people, you can get into groups, and you can organise to, uh, to take direct action whether that be in a small group, an affinity group, or in a mass direct action like the Great Climate Sweep. Okay, so you can be a, you can be a sort of more normal kind of marcher, uh, which is a bit more what we say fluffy, yeah? Um, or, 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 you can, or you can join an affinity group. Now, affinity groups is basically a group of people that are friends or trust each other, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And there, there, there has been some, uh, some attempt to get away from the language of fluffy and spiky just to make sure that we are all kind of one movement. And although kind of we know that when we speak this uh, to one another, uh, other people outside see this as a divide. Um, but yes, you're absolutely right. An affinity group um, is a group of people who, take, um, who, who get together to organise a direct action together. You'll usually have someone to do media, um, maybe someone to kind of give some kind of legal support to kind of write down what happens and you have a number of people to take the action whether that's locking yourself to something or maybe kind of standing up at a public meeting and shouting your words or if it's some kind of uh, online direct action as well. Talking of the standing up at the, at the public meeting we've actually got uh, someone who went on their first direct action on Thursday up in the next show who can report on just such an action. Um, more soon from Climate Camp TV.